Hello, welcome to Inspired by Evan Autism Resources. This video slideshow will demonstrate possible ways you can interact with this resource fossil formation sequence. There are four sets within this resource of six step sequence on how a fossil is created from a dinosaur. Each of the four sets will have a solid line page that is more for a teaching phase, um, having the child look at this sequence page, um, talk about it, talk about the steps, um, possibly pair it up with the later page with the word only description, talk that states what's happening in each of the six steps. Also within each of the four sets of fossil sequence pages, um, there will be a dash line page for a possible cutting out cut and paste task or cutting out and laminating, adding Velcro and using it um, on a later blank template board where you can have the student order them in proper sequence for assessment. Then in each of the four sets, there will be a numerical order, thick line page for teaching. Again, have the student look at it, talk about it, memorize it. Um, the numerical order pages will be for those kiddos that need more of a visual prompt um, to help them with matching later. Um, maybe some of the lower level kids that maybe can't completely understand the concept, but they can interact with the basic idea. Again, um, with the numerical order pages, you will get a dash line page for cut and pasting and laminate and Velcro. This is the second set. Each set that I've created will progress a little bit more in its complexity as far as what the pictures are showing, the detail of the photo. Um, and depending on the student you're working with, whether they're visually distracted by too much busyness on a page or um, if they need a more colorful display to have their attention, um, you will have to choose which set out of the four you think is um, a better fit for the, your student. Again, this is the first page of this set, the teaching page. The dash line photo only for cut and paste. The numerical order teaching page. the dash line numerical order page for possible you know manipulatives within the classroom this is the third set we're adding a little bit more color a little bit more detail to the soil um, rocks uh, a little bit more detail to maybe the decaying of the dinosaur like I said this is the teaching page the cut and paste picture page, the numerical order um, number prompting teaching page, and then the numerical order cut and paste possible laminate and Velcro um, possible. Then we have the last set, which is the most complex as far as its detail in the photos its colors um, it's going to be more appealing to kids that you know need that to pull their attention in it may actually be um, better for the higher functioning students um, to talk about the different detail within the photo this is the teaching page of that set the dash line cutout page of that set the numerical order teaching page, the numerical order cut and paste manipulative pieces. Um, then also with this resource I've added 
um, a coloring page, I my goal in each of my resources is to be able to give different ways to interact with the same concept. Um, this is a coloring page. The student can color each photo according to um, their liking and then they can use these as manipulative pieces if they'd like to cut them out. This is the fossil sequence board that it's blank. It's the template that you would uh, present to the student with the pieces um, to assess their knowledge based on um, whichever set that you chose to, to teach them. This is the fossil sequence numerical order assessment page. You can use this as a stepping to stone to the real assessment um, practice. Um, this could be the laminated page that you add Velcro to the center of each square for a repetitive learning task. I'll sh demonstrate uh, a couple of the dash line pictures and how you could go about ordering those. Again, this is another template blank page with a larger font with the number Q. Or maybe the kids that need to see those larger numbers have they have some visual tracking issues. I'm going to demonstrate we're using the dash line description only cards on this one, ordering those in sequence. The child would have to have understood the process and been taught earlier. This is the teaching page of with the description only of each sequence, talking about what's happening to the dinosaur. You could use it as a um, backdrop and have the student match picture to label. This is the dash line cut and paste of the description only. This is the teaching page with the numerical order and description. This is the dash line page with the numerical order and word description of each of the six stages of the fossil sequence. And then last, um, there are six full page color photos of each of the four or each of the six steps, excuse me, um, you could use for posters, larger manipulatives for children that may need to um, have large pieces to move based on their fine motor skills. You could order them on the floor, on the wall, over a large desk. Each of the full page have their own full page coloring partner. Just another another activity, uh, fun activity. The six steps. Again, these can be used as posters. Um, can be used um, with a group activity. Maybe having one, you know, a small group activity. Each student have a photo then they um, put those in order. Larger, larger version um, you could use into a smart board presentation possibly. Um, have the children interact with them. Drag and drop. Full with all my resources is just to try to figure out a way that at any um, the students can still talk about the same topic and some in depth other students may just touch the service but you still can each student can be discussing the fossil sequence itself at their own um, skill level